What's up guys, Cool200 here, and today we are looking at the first wave of the NASCAR Lionel Authentics 124 scales. As you can see, um, they haven't put out, as far as I know, 124 scales since uh, Winter Circle days, but I wasn't much of a NASCAR collector back then, like I am now, so I know nothing about that. <laughs> Very sad, isn't it? Very sad. But anyways, um, today we are going to be looking at Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kevin Harvick, and Ryan Newman. So let's just go ahead and pop right into this. Um, this is what they look like in the packaging, you know, just not so bent on this side. You know, it's a little bent because I tried to rip it out. Didn't know how because this was the first one I ever got. The hoods do not open, sadly. Unless they do, there's like a secret way, but uh, I don't want to break them. So they do come with screws. I've already taken them out, so if you can hear that, you know, that's what it is. So I'm just going to pop them all out real quick. Um, here's what the inside looks like. It's a nice little victory thing. So really quickly, I'm going to take every out of the package just so you guys can see. I won't be doing this for now long. This is just for the first video. For the sake of my video. So there. They're all out. And uh, the first one we are going to be looking at is Jimmy Johnson. Which is right there. So it looks to be a very nice piece of die cast. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. No. Okay. Well it looks like to be a very nice piece of die cast as you guys can see these are not up to scale though as you can see on the sides clearly they do not have the sponsors down here 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 or up here which i think is false because these things are 20 bucks and i think they could do better i also do not like that you can't see through there that's on every one of them so you're just gonna hear that from Jimmy. But uh, other than that, it is a very nice and heavy piece of die cast. Not as heavy as the Winter Circle or maybe even older ones that you guys have. But uh, they they are nice. You know what 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 is that in the camera? Oh, just a piece of trash. Some crap. This is all crap I'm getting rid of, by the way. If you want it, come talk to me. He probably don't though, because there's some crazy. It's gonna get thrown away. Little kid stuff, huh? <laughs> now I'm playing with NASCAR. What are the odds of that? But anyways, there's a nice piece of die cast. You have um, a very nice bumper. Like I said, you can get your nail under there. You can almost pry it open, but you can't. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to go out and buy another one because these things are not cheap, especially how they're made. They're not made that well. Like, you can almost pry that off as well. You can't see that. So, these things are made pretty cheap. I'm only buying one of every one. Like, I buy like three or four of the 164s because those are made better. I think they can do a better job. Line up, if you're watching this, please add all decals. Remove this, just all of this black crap, you know, just garbage. And uh, have the hoods open. I like the rubber tires. Keep those. Rubber tires are nice. But to remove all the black stuff until we can actually see what's inside of the driver's cockpit. Please. Thank you. So, yeah, it's a very nice piece of die cast, you know, not, not too shabby. You know, just a very nice piece of die cast for the 12th time. The next one we're going to be looking at is Kevin Harvick. Now, this is the first Ford and the only Ford in this wave. There are no Toyotas, obviously. And I like it. I like the Ford body. I I really kind of enjoy what it looks like. I think it looks very nice. Wow, they've been sitting up there for so long. Um, by the way, this is off topic just a tiny bit. But uh, YouTube has been broken, for me at least, on how I do my videos. Try and get myself out of the camera a little bit here. But anyways, YouTube has been broken. 
for a few, few days or more days than this. But um, I hit upload to up when I want to edit my videos, and then I hit edit. And this is how I get my intro, the blinds, to smoothly cut into the scene. That That's how that stuff gets in. Well, YouTube has been broken. And I hit upload, like, on the 4th of October. So not too long ago. Um, and I couldn't find the edit button. Could, could you guys tell me what's going on here? Because I couldn't find the edit button. And, uh... I got upset because I had two videos to upload. I uploaded the one. It was the NASCAR parody cheese or the burger thing. And it turned out to be an okay video. There's a so couple lines I messed up and uh, I kind of wish I could redo that, but whatever. Very off topic now. But anyways, YouTube's broken. And if this video goes up, it's either it's fixed or I just said, you know what? Screw the intro for a little while. YouTube wants to be broken. It's not going to bury me. I'm just going to upload my video. Anyways. So, you know, if you guys see this video up, it's either fixed or I just didn't bother to finally wait for it to get fixed. Then I want you guys to have nice content. So, that's my little ramble. I hope it gets fixed. And, yeah. So, this is a nice piece of die cast as well. Just look at that board. Just look at the front. Oh, so nice. I like it a lot. Sorry if I sounded weird there. It's, it's really nice. Really nice. The back's nice, too. I don't understand why they have, like, a little missing Ford logo. You can see it more on the Chevy, but they have, like, a missing Ford logo right there. Really weird. By the way, that's my pinky, not the middle finger. Baby pinky. See? Pinky finger. <laughs> Just for you people who like to call me out. I hope I didn't show the side already. So it's very nice. Again, Fords, like the Chevys, don't open hoods. But, uh, oh yeah, here's the bottom. The little holes is where the screws go. So here and uh, here. But, uh, yeah, really nice. I really like it. Besides the plastic uh, non-see-through windshield and the... Um, not opening hood. If I think if they added that, I would buy more of these. The same line now. The same. Next, we're gonna look at Ryan Newman. It's a very nice piece of diecast. My first one I ever got. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Not much to go over on these, which is very surprising. Just kind of showing you guys what the diecast is. Now, obviously, I have all of these in 164 scales so uh you know that's that i just didn't bring them out here I, if i did i would have really showed you what they look like up to date and by the way this spoiler is broken more than any of them and i haven't played with these at all like they've been sitting on my dresser on the shelf so by the way that thing the shelf has changed so much by the way, you see my head peeking sometimes because I'm looking at the time. Because, you know. So, like, my dresser has changed so much. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is my shelf. Like, there's so much going on. And by the way, Wave 3, finally, I had to order from eBay um, Jimmy Johnson's championship car and uh, Daniel Suarez's regular 19 car. So, Wave 3 review will be coming out very soon, if not tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow, because my parents don't go out and I go into homecoming, so, yeah. So maybe next weekend. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out next week. All right. So here is Ryan Newman. Very nice. Very nice. Sorry if I'm going quick. Very nice. And very nice. Now. The cool thing is, okay, never mind. Chevys don't have that missing logo thing. I thought they did. Maybe that's on just 164. Nothing Lionel missed. So, it's a nice piece of die cast. Oh, yes. 
All right, so the next hero we are going to be looking at is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now, I saved him best for last because, sadly, he didn't make it into the chase, which we all wanted him to. He hasn't gotten a win yet, 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 wow. Anyways, he hasn't gotten a win yet, and I'm hoping he does before the end of the year. Maybe Talladega, fingers crossed, everybody, that he gets a win at Talladega because we all know he's... Obviously, my favorite. I, see, I I can't even believe he's retiring right now. Like it's it's so hard to believe that the the driver that I lived up to, that I saw passion in, is leaving. I mean, he's what brought me to the sport. Um, and it's sad to see him go. I'm sure all the junior fans would agree with me. Maybe that's how they got sucked into the sport, or maybe his father. Um, I really started liking Junior more and more as I found out what about his father. And um, I saw what a great guy Junior is, and always will be. And um, he, he's just a great driver. I know you guys may not think so. I know he hasn't had a championship in the Spring Cup Series, or in this case, the Monster Energy Cup Series, which I don't agree with. I hate that name a lot. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, you know, it's just, it's hard to see him go. Um, there's, he's got, I think he's got a lot left. I know he wants to retire on his own terms, but I think if he didn't have that crash, and please comment down below if you agree with me on this, I think he would still be in the sport. And, um, I know some of you guys out there agree with me. Maybe some of you were saying, shut up. Nobody cares. He, what's gone is gone, like Jeff Gordon. But um, I'm not trying to defend offense. or I'm not trying to be mean to any of the Gordon fans out there. Because honestly, I think Gordon was a great driver as well. Same as Tony Stewart, Carl Edwards, uh, Bobby Labonte, Michael Waltrip, all those guys that retired, Mark Martin, um, Terry Labonte, you know, all the guys that have drove, uh, Bor said, you know, um, just, just some great names, you know, that have, you know, left the sport. And now we are getting a, uh, a huge name out of the sport. Not that, uh, any of those guys were huge. I mean, not huge. Um, not that any of those guys weren't talented because heck, Michael Waltrip with the Daytona win, even though Dale Senior had passed away that day was great. I, I watched some videos on that. Um, Dale Jr. getting a win. At Daytona 2014, that was phenomenal. Um, Jeff Gordon's final win, that was great. You know, everybody loved that, and honestly, my grandma did too, and I celebrated with her. You know, it was just, it was very emotional. And I think when Junior gets to Homestead, um, it'll it'll be a very emotional crowd. Um, I know I have a lot more to say about him than the rest of the guys because, you know, this this may be the only. This might be the last Dale Jr. car. And this will certainly be the only Dale Jr. 150, 124 scale we'll get. I know we're getting a few more into the 164 waves, but uh, this is definitely going to be the only one. Unless these actually sell well, which will surprise me. Because when I got to Mars a few weeks ago, or uh, just a few days ago, okay, last Sunday, it was October 1st or something. It was October 1st. Keep that on calendar. Okay. So, you know, I went to my room. Nobody was buying these, but, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, back on the junior subject, you know. I know I'm not really rambling on about die cast, which is nice, by the way. But um, more of just rambling on about him. He's had a great career, you know, as far as I could tell. He's what brought a lot of people into the sport. So did his father, you know, the great... They had a great foundation, and um, I just, I really hate to see him leave, and like I said before, I know all the junior fans would agree with me that him leaving will be a change in the sport, you know? I bet you they're going to have half of the fans that they have this year, and they don't have many this year at all. Like, it's so sad that they don't have that many fans, and it's because of the rules. It's because of people like Gordon Edwards Jr. just leaving the sport. It's it's so hard for the sport to leave. 
or to get better when they're veteran. They're veterans. Ryan Newman's going to be retiring soon. Just all their veterans are are leaving, and um, they're not going to have much left once Junior retires. They're not going to have a uh, good – maybe people will decide to go to Chase, Kyle Larson, who's a great kid, one of my favorites. Maybe they'll make their way <laughs> – it's going to be a little joke, but I have to say it. They'll go Jamie McMurray. You know, I, I like Jamie personally. I, I like that whole Chip Ganassi crew. I wish Case King was going to him. You know, but they'll find their way to, to younger sport drivers. Like, or not sport. Wow, that was true. Like younger drivers, young guns. Like uh, Kyle Larson, like I said. Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney in there. Um, maybe William Byron, Alex Bowman. Who remembers Alex Bowman driving the 2014 Dr. Pepper 23 from BK Racing? Me. <laughs> I remember that. Sorry, low battery. That's what that sound was. If you could hear it. But, um, yeah, you know, they'll, they'll find their way to, to those people. And, honestly, I, w I was even considering leaving the sport as well because Dale Jr. Oh, my gosh, stay right here, please. Like, Dale Jr. retiring, that's just going to be a big hit on everybody. It's going to be a big wake-up call that said, hey, this is the reason I was in the sport. Now that Dale's gone, do I really want to be still liking the sport? Yes. Yes, you should, but you shouldn't. And there's just reasons behind that. I know I'm rambling on right now, and it's, it's this is sad. But um, I have to ramble. I mean, I have to say these things because this is important to me, and I hope it's important to you guys that you guys have to realize there's so many fans for Dale Earnhardt Jr., so, so much passion for Dale Earnhardt Jr. to win his last race. And I I wish I didn't have doubts, but I do. I just I don't see the competitiveness in him that he's had throughout the years. And I just I don't see him getting oh man, this is going to come and say this, but I, I just don't see him getting a win as of this year. And I hope he comes back next year as a um uh, maybe a, a, a sub driver. You know, just gets a little part-time racing in like Terry Labonte did, Bobby Labonte, uh, Michael Waltrip, uh, Jeff Gordon filling in for Dale. That was good. You know, that's good for the sport. So, you know, maybe something like that. And um, there's so much changing in this world. Like Matt Kenseth doesn't have a ride. Case Kane just found a horrible ride, in my opinion. I mean, it's not horrible, honestly. Uh, Michael McDowell did a great job. Then, you know, they're, they're sneaking into the 24th, you know, around the 18th. Maybe they'll become the next furniture row or something. I don't know. Um, but just so many, so much to change. Danica Patrick might be leaving, so that might be another retiring girl. Um, and, you know, with her gone and Dale gone, there goes more fans. And it's so hard because either they're going to go to Chase Elliott or one of the young guns, or they're just, they're going to flee. You know, and with Kyle Bush, I hate to say this, no, I don't, because I hate Bush. Sorry, Bush fans, but with Bush just out there dominating sometimes, you know, people don't want to see that. People don't like Bush. I'm sorry, people don't. Um, I'm sure there's some Bush fans watching this, maybe, but people just don't like Bush. I'm sorry. All right, guys. 
Well, I'm done rambling. Um, if you saw that pause, like if you noticed this pause, well, you probably will now. But um, my computer died while I was recording. So, anyways, enough of me rambling. Um, we all know it's sad to see everybody leave the sport, but I guess you know it happens. I hate cars passing by my house. I have to look. Anyways, it happens to all of them. You know, someday they'll all retire and like. Michael Jordan did. So, you know, it, it'll, it'll change the sport, but the sport will live on. So enough of me rambling. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Give a huge thumbs up. Just, just snap it in half for me, would you? Just press until you die. And, um, you know, uh, comment down below what you guys saw this video. Which one are you going to pick up? I recommend picking up the Dale Jr. one and Kevin Harvick, you know. Kevin Harvick's nice. Pick up these two for sure. Maybe Jimmy Johnson, maybe Ryan Newman. If you're a diehard NASCAR fan, pick up all of them and pick up two more. Because you know what? There's just nothing wrong with having too many NASCARs. Don't you let your parents say, oh, you have too many NASCARs. Because you know what? They're wrong. They're just jealous of you that you have a better collection than them. That's right, because I get that all the time. I get my mom and dad saying, you don't need any more NASCAR. Like, they're, they're literally out right now, and I told them to get me some NASCAR. I'm like, nope, mm -mm, not doing it. And I'm like, boy, give me some NASCARs, man. I got videos to make. I got fans to, to make happy. So, yeah. So please like this video, a comment. Subscribe for more. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.